<laughs> Good morning, Mr. Chair. Good morning. Welcome to the, um, we're in, uh, we're in March. Right. March meeting of the March finance meeting budget. budget. Um, first up, well, first we only have uh, Al and I, right, Sarah? Right. We have that's a quorum. Right. Yep, that's right, which is a quorum. It's a three-member committee. First up is the adoption of the February meeting of the uh, the board meeting. I remember that was Valentine's Day. Yes, yep. that's right. Can I get a motion, Al, please? Absolutely. And I'll second it. All in favor, aye. Aye. None opposed, no abstention. No, that motion carries. We have one matter on the agenda. Um, that's the uh, school district revenue bond program offering, and Steve is presenting. Yes. Right. Good morning. We do that. Do we have to do anything with the finance committee charter, or did we do that at the last meeting? I don't remember. I know, I know it's I know it's in there. Yeah, yeah. But I don't get any cue about what I'm supposed to do with it. So yeah, I mean, the, I committee, the committee needs to confirm that they have reviewed it. We can do that either now or after the presentation, Mr. Chair. Either either way. But it, it's a committee review that's done on an annual basis. Staff has not recommended any changes. I, I didn't think we had to do anything. I didn't know we had to we had, they were we had not. to review it again. But do we do we approve it, Sarah, or do we simply? Uh, yes, it's it's not full board review. It's just a committee review and confirmation that that the committee concurs. No changes are needed. Mr. Chairman, I move okay. that we approve the finance committee charter as it appears uh, in the in the record. Thank you, and I note there's no changes from the last. Sure, no changes. No. Thank reason. you very much. All in favor? Aye. 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 None opposed. That carries. Thanks very much, Al, for. Up with that one, and uh, Steve is up. Thanks, Steve. Well, all right. The uh, finance committee is being asked to recommend the full board to adopt the necessary documents to authorize multiple series of school districts revenue bond financing program bonds in an amount not to exceed one point five billion to be sold through multiple negotiated offerings. Proceeds from this authorization may be used to refinance bond anticipation notes or bans of various New York State school districts finance new money projects on behalf of various New York State school districts, and to refund bonds previously issued by DASNY through the school district's revenue bond financing program. School, school districts have the option of issuing their own general obligation bonds or participating in the school program. When school districts issue their own general obligation bonds, they receive building aid based on a statewide average interest rate, which if lower than the school district's actual cost of borrowing can negatively impact the amount of building aid received by the school district for a project. When school districts issued through the DASNY pool, they received building aid based on the actual rate achieved with the DASNY bond series. Therefore, the building aid a school district receives for a project financed through the DASNY pool more accurately reflects the school district's actual cost of borrowing. Since the first issuance under the program in 2002, DESNY has issued over $8.8 billion in bonds on behalf of 359 school districts across the state. Of the $8.8 billion, $6.6 .6 billion was issued for band refinancing and new money projects. $2.2 billion was issued to refund prior DESNY school district revenue bond financing program bonds. Staff is requesting authorization to meet school district demand for a new money and band refinancing pool closing in June. While no, no refunding is anticipated at this time, bonds could be issued later in 2024 to refund outstanding DASNY bonds, pending market conditions and school district demand. The 2023 issuance was the largest ever under this program at nearly 1.1 billion, providing long-term financing for 88 school districts. Based on initial feedback from the school district's financial advisors, we expect a similar size pool for 2024, excuse me, 2024. The structure and security features are the same as previous school district pools. This consists of semi-annual payments to make, be made pursuant to the financing agreement backed by the full faith and credit general obligation bonds of the participating school districts, a statutory intercept through the state comptroller of any state aid, due to participating school districts for debt service on the bonds, and bond insurance will be considered if available and economically advantageous. Mr. Chairman. Thank you very much, Steve. Any questions? 
Um, I'll ask some questions now in, in, in lieu of the, the full board meeting. Well, thank you. What proportion of this is um, allocated for either the bond refunding new money uh, of the authorized 1.5 billion that we're approving? So what proportion is for refunding? Yeah, or is either the ban refunding, you say there's no expected you know, bond refunding, but how much of it is going to the ban and how much is going to new money? Yeah, it's predominantly all ban refinancing. There's a couple very small new money uh, pieces, but I'd say nearly all of it is ban refinancing. Okay, so, you're, so there's not a portion that you're going to hold aside of the authorization for refunding. So, so three is predominantly so the number for, for ban. So after we do the June pool, um, there may be, you know, let, let's just throw out numbers here, but if it were to be like 1.1 billion, we would still have 400 million of authorization that we could use for refunding later in the year if they want, the school districts had demand for that. Right now, we're not anticipating that. And, but if there was uh, refunding later in the year and we didn't have enough, enough authorization, we would have to return to the board uh, for, for additional authorization. Didn't we do that last year? Didn't we come uh, back? There was no refunding last year, right, Dave? Yeah, we we came to the board in February last year for or a billion, but because there was so much school district demand because interest rates were rising, we came back to the board for an increase authorization of one point five. And this billion. program is typically more popular in a rising interest rate environment than that's why we didn't have a lot for a while, but then all of a sudden, no. I, I had one other question for you, really. The, the way these operate, right? The, 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 the school boards, do they authorize or do they have to go to the voters for, for, uh, for an approval? I forget. Yeah, every, every project needs to be approved by the voters of the district and then also SCD. Any other questions? None here. Thank you. Hearing none, can I get a motion to uh, to recommend approval of this offering at the board meeting that will happen in a few minutes? So thanks please. very much. I'll second it. All in favor, aye. aye. None opposed. No abstentions. That motion carries. Um, I believe that concludes finance, unless anyone has any questions or concerns. Um, if hearing none, I'll ask for the motion to adjourn and turn it over to the full board. So sure. move. Thanks very much. I'll second it. No opposed. That carries. Thanks very much. We're done. Thanks, Sarah. Great. And